go. What's happening, YouTube? It's your one of your favorite power reviewers. It's the homie Lamont Tyson waiting on the crew to get here. And while the crew is getting here, I got my hometown crew, my little baby, my little mini me, Elle, in here until everybody else get in here. She has swimming class today, and she's going to be my little helper until Moochie and the other crew start coming because there are a lot of things I can't say around the baby. Right, Elle? Uh -huh. I can't say a lot of things around you, right? Mommy. Yeah, that is mommy. Yeah, Elle. Can you say power? Power. 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 Say power. Power. Can you say Raising Canaan? Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan. Can you say poor Scrappy? Like Scrappy. Yeah, poor Scrappy. Poor, poor Scrappy. Can you say poor Scrappy? Poor Scrappy. Can you say rock ain't rock. about nothing? About nothing. Rock ain't about nothing. About nothing. She ain't about nothing. That's right. And can you also say, before I had to let, whoa, baby, before I had to let you get up out of here, <clears throat> House of Dragon. Mm. <laughs> Say House of Dragon. House of Dragon. House of Dragon. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what happened to Scrap was pretty, pretty dastardly. For all you people that love rock, y'all should probably be through it, rock at this point, because everything Larry was trying to tell y'all about rock happened last night. The chick is conniving. The chick is dastardly. The chick only thinks, what can I do to win at this drug game at all costs? Her only Achilles heels, the only Achilles heels that Rock has is her son. That's it. That's, that's L. Get off the treadmill, honey. Thank you. That's her only Achilles heel. And if it wasn't for Kanan being in the show, what weaknesses would Rock have? Because Scrap gave everything to that organization and that family. Lost an eye, went to jail, lost panty draws, got into fights, you know, got shot up. That boy sacrificed everything. He was about to be a real G that everybody was getting behind, and they done took his ass away. Ladies and gentlemen, first guest coming to the stage, and this ain't the pink. It's our homegirl, Nita, the diva. What's up, Nita? Hey, 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 Lamont. What's going on? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good, too. I'm real good. I'm real good. I'm looking good. Well, looking of good. course. <laughs> when, when, when do you not? You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when do you not get on my channel and don't make me at least $100 in Super Chat? You know what I'm saying? N never. And ladies and gentlemen, also coming to the stage, not named Pink. It's the auntie. It's my homegirl, Moochella, who hang with the fellas. What's up, Moochella? Don't call me auntie. My name's just Moochie L. <laughs> oh, look. I look. Lu Lulu is not signing you to no record deal, Moochie. Look. Stop it. <laughs> and if you did Meow. sign a record deal with Lulu, you would never get nothing done because you wouldn't be trying to get in the studio. I know, because he's going to be, he gonna be like, you can get studio. with this or you can get with that. Oh, <laughs> nah, what's up, Lamont? <laughs> I'm chilling, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a short review tonight. We're only going to go an hour because the after party is going to be on J Mo channel. So make sure if you're tuned in right now, you're going to be going over to J Mo because he's going to keep this thing going. He will be in here shortly. Now, while I've got these two lovely ladies on the camera and on this live stream, I want to start with Moochie and ask, how did you like this episode, Moochie? Um, the pacing, the score, the acting. How did you like the overall episode? I like this episode. I just got to, I feel like, uh, how can I say this? I don't like the way they did Scrappy. Okay. I, I, okay. I'm mad. I, I, I like. I'm kind of mad at, at 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 Rock because I feel like they needed more confirmation. Mm -hmm. I do have a theory, but I still feel like I don't feel like 
Scrappy was the snitch. I all uh, like I said last week. I feel like the mother was doing most of the talking, but I did come up with a theory. Y'all can check it out on my channel. And I, I still, I still think it's gonna be some get back with this whole thing with him, her doing Scrappy. And mm -hmm. I, I, so I watched your, uh, I watched your trailer breakdown, and I agree with you. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to Nita the Diva first, but I got somebody in the bullpen that said they're ready to pitch. And they come up here pitching gas, 100 miles an hour pitches. It's the big homie, Jay, Mr. Mo. What's going on, brother Jay? What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? What's up, Jay? We good, man. We good. We're glad to have you, my brother. Glad to have you in the building. Nita the Diva. Yes. Talk to me about how you like this episode. Moochie made some great salient points, but to one of Moochie's theories, I want to throw this curveball at you, Nita the Diva. Has anybody ever thought about, we know Scrap most likely was not the snitch. Has anybody ever gave credence that the snitch could be Juliana? And I'll put the ball in your court. Shout be out who? to Will Lawrence for this. Juliana. J Juliana. The Bodega girl. Bo Bodega. Mm -mm. I don't think it's her, but <laughs> yeah. shout out to Will Lawrence for the four ninety nine. We appreciate yeah. you, my homie. You you always show love when these lovely ladies are up here because they are way more beautiful than I am, and hopefully I'm way more handsome than they are. Neither the diva. The floor is yours. Yeah, I um I liked the episode. I thought it was it was pretty. I thought it was pretty good. You know. Mm -hmm. The first episode, not so much. Like I liked it, but I thought this was a, an improvement on it. So, um, I like this episode for sure. No, Nita, I'm a hun I, I I totally get what you're saying. I mean, the three of us, the four of us, excuse me, we we always typically seem to be on the same wavelength without talking to each other, ladies and gentlemen. We don't sit behind the camera when before y'all get up here and exchange notes. You know, they ain't paying us enough to do that shit, okay? We come up here and give y'all what is raw and in our head, and we always seem to be on the same wavelength. J-Mo, I'm going to kick the floor to you after I shout out Ms. KJ coming through with the $5 Super Chat. We are very Damn. grateful, appreciative. Thank, Thank you much. J-Mo, give us your overall thoughts on the episode. Yeah, I liked that it. it was a good episode. Um, I like seeing the character development and different things. And, uh, you know, we all know Rock is a, is a devil. Mm -hmm. and so, uh, mm -hmm. We may have to revisit who's the worst again between Tasha, Rock, and uh, and what you call it, uh, Mary J. Um, but, you know, that's another subject. <laughs> <laughs> See, Jay, Jay want me to keep this short, but Jay be coming up here twisting <laughs> folks' mind. He be, <laughs> Jay, Jay, you can't make no blanket statement like that and not let nobody say that. Man, you know, at this point, at this point, Rock is worse than anybody else in the power universe. Maybe itself, maybe Ghost and Tommy. Rock is the worst. Rock is the worst. She definitely got Mary JB. Definitely. Definitely got Mary JB. <laughs> They are all pretty bad when you think about them, but she, she, uh, she, yeah, she ain't got no loyalty in the game at all, though, man, and heartless. So, damn right, Ooh. she was sitting right beside Kanye West when he wrote that song. She was right over there singing it with him. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's gonna be running on J Mo channel at ten o'clock as soon as we're done here. Be sure to go over there and check my man out. We've got 250 in the building. Make sure we get 250 likes. We're going to go across a couple of high-issue subjects in this review. We'll do a longer review tomorrow. Same channel, 9 p.m. Come check us out then. But right now, let me start with the first daunting issue. And I've got a trailer clip. I want us to discuss this, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we're talking about the big homie Scrap. Nita, I'll be coming to you after we take a look at this. I've been down with y'all niggas since I was 14. Looking out, bagging, soldiering, hustling, cooking, whatever needed to get done, I done done it. It ain't easy hanging pictures with one eye. It ain't easy tying my shoes. 
Seeing street signs are doing damn near anything with one fucking eye. I gave that shit up for y'all niggas and still came back swinging. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. If that brother had a, a bigger name, that was damn near TV Emmy type speeches that brother just gave. Heart, it passion, was, though. and then he went and, and straight up, and then he went in there with a little explanation mark, like the Ultimate Warrior and shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't gave. Look, he said it with his family. chest. That's why he did that. He said it with his chest. With his That's chest. With I, your, with your, <laughs> right. I said he said it with his chest. Yes, with his, with, yes, he did say it with his, Now, by the way, I said, I said this with my chest last week, which is why y'all need to follow my trailer reviews. Take a look at that. Take a look at that thumbnail right there. Would you come up, thumbnail? Take a look at that thumbnail right there. I foretold y'all what was going to happen. And then let me pull this out, too. Right beside J. Mo is Lamont Tyson. I got Marvin. I got the table issue and scratch. Yeah, ain't right guy. nothing in my category. Wait, 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 wait. Want, Put that thing you, up again. You want, uh, 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 uh. You want, Put it you back up again, Lamont. Oh, he did that on, on Tuesday night, Mustard. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, about to say, I was yeah, here yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah you he didn't do Tuesday. it. He did it Tuesday night. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I did it Tuesday. I'm like, yeah. where my where my scrappy death prediction on there? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so needed needed the diva. When Scrap gave that impassioned speech and told Marvin, it's like, look, bro, y'all need to be upscaling me and not giving the job to this snake. Did you think at that point in time that was going to be the end of Scrap? I was hoping that, but yeah, it started to look like that. I was like, this is not looking good. I, by the way, kudos on that suit. It's, it's, it's moment that he did an excellent job with delivering that. I was a hundred percent behind him. I was like, I just felt so bad because what he went through and what he did and what he put on the line for y'all and mm -hmm. for y'all to do him like that. I was just like, yo, this is this is kind of bad. But um, it's real because you know people don't play with snitches. You know, mm -hmm. you know that that was just the the, the point blank in the period of it. It wasn't the loyalty. It wasn't all that. It was the snitching. But I don't know why Rock even believed um, Malcolm. Why? You just tried to kill this man. Why would you believe anything he got to say out of his mouth? I felt like he was manipulating her. Similar, to, um, similar to how Kanan manipulated Ghost to kill Roller. Like, yeah, we talked about they talked about that uh, on my theory video yes. that um she she manipulated he was Detective Howard manipulated her just like Kanan manipulated Ghost to kill Roller. And now we're gonna start seeing their behavior with Kanan. We're gonna start seeing where he gets his madness from. And it's not mm. only from his mother, it's from his father, too. Mm, really? But, well, yeah. Jay Mo, let me jump in here. Do you really feel like Detective Mike Tomlin was lying to Rock? Because he did see him in the room, and the homeboy, the detective that came out of there, did say it was his CI. So I get where Nita is saying you shouldn't believe him, but he was honestly telling the truth in that moment to what he thought. Now, what he didn't figure out, Jay, was which one in the room was the CI. He didn't figure that out. So he exactly. just told, he just told Rock what he who he thought was the CI based on who's in the organization, not thinking that the mama is sitting there listening to everything. Floor is yours, Jay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he was thinking that many moves ahead calculated to like try to take them out from the inside out by having her take Scrappy out. I, I mean, it's happened in that way, but I don't think he planned it. I think that's right, just right. unintentional consequences. You know what I mean? But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he, he um, I mean, I guess maybe he probably thought he was throwing her a bone so that maybe she'll trust him and think, okay, he on the up and up. He, he maybe we could work something out with him and Kanan finally or 
or right. stop trying to kill him or or something because he said he's trying to right his wrongs and he basically mm. trying to be you know the hood avenger or whatever so <laughs> <laughs> that was his first way to prove he, he, he a good guy now so I think that was what he was thinking and I, I'm with uh, Nita though if I was Rock I probably wouldn't be believing anything he said especially after he tipped the hand that he ain't got amnesia so now I know you know better mm -hmm. you know what happened if you had amnesia and you were saying stuff I might believe you if I was rock because you just talking and you don't know, remember what happened and you ain't got no ill will. But with he knowing better, I don't know if I was her, if I would have listened that easy. But um, hmm. I would have definitely questioned Scrap and said something before, you know, it wouldn't have been no comments. Um, we would have mm -hmm. had to have something cleared up at least. So, yeah. And I'll shift it back to Nita. I'll shift it back to you, Nita. Can't we say that Rock really and truly, she wasn't wholeheartedly trusting Howard because she did put uh, Marvin out on them streets to test the theory to see if he could do, do some digging. He right. went as so far to do some digging. Um, Scrap told him he was hanging pictures, so he lied, which made it look like he was hiding something when he really wasn't. So Marvin go and pretend like he's the damn handyman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a, handy, a handyman can make money and be rich and look like this. But uh, you ain't about to show up at nobody's damn house for advertisement purposes. Talking about you, the handyman dressed like this. And the chick even said, you a handyman driving a damn Lexus. And ladies and gentlemen, I think she had the hots for Marvin a little bit. I seen the way she was looking at him as he was walking as he was walking away from the door but we'll get back to that in a minute we'll get that in a minute we'll get that in a minute you know what i'm saying she she's seen all the accoutrements this man had them panty draws got super soaker wet but back to you nita the <laughs> fact that she put marvin on him doesn't that show that she really and truly didn't trust what baby daddy howard said yeah i felt like she had to do a little bit more digging um i i, I mean I don't blame her. It kind of, but I mean, it felt like she's still just kind of like, you know, on the one hand, you'd be sitting up there, you're thinking, what if, what would you, what would somebody say if they got caught and saying that you're a snitch? Do you think that the person's going to tell the truth or they're going to lie? You know, they're going to lie about it. So it's no, I was saying people say they didn't even ask Scrappy and they didn't do that, but I'm, you know, if you're in that, in that position, you're not going to do anything but lie. And that's what he did. He did that with Marvin. He lied. And so I guess he kind of like created that whole snowball effect. But yeah, they, I, I think they did their somewhat due diligence, but I felt like they still wasn't strongly behind it. At least Marvin and Lulu weren't. But no. It was lights I, out. I, I believe when they had this little meeting, Marvin said, you know, he's iffy. You know, he said, I can't confirm, nor can I deny, because he caught him in a lie. And th at the end of the day, do you think Scrap um, Moochie was protecting his mama? Because he could have easily said, the police pulled me in because I was at the gambling house, even though Rock told me not to be there. She wouldn't have killed him for being at the gambling house. She might would have knocked him down a couple of pegs, but she wouldn't have killed him. So do you think that he lied to protect his mom or do you think he lied to protect himself from being somewhere he wasn't supposed to be against the the orders of rock? I think he lied for both reasons. Oh, okay. I think he lied for both reasons and he wasn't killed because he was a snitch. He was killed because he was a liar because they couldn't confirm anything. Right, right. They couldn't confirm anything and I like I I feel like he wasn't killed just for snitching. And for the simple fact is even Lulu didn't want to kill him because they feel like he felt like they still didn't have enough to go on. So at the end of the Which day, he did. died to Marvin. So that's why they walked him. And I feel like, how can I say this? I feel like Detective Howard is going to use this to his advantage. Oh. 
Because okay. now that Scrappy is gone, you don't think his mm -hmm. mother gonna spill all the beans now? Hmm. Yeah, because she was boy. mad when they even was touching her. Don't be touching my boy. Right, that right. She was mad. Boy. Like, she check was out mad. my theory video, y'all. Yeah. I, I feel like the way he was shouting out locations and stuff, don't be surprised. Or was he wired? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm, okay. Hold on. Ladies now, and Mo gentlemen. Yeah, Mo is here now. Not J Mo. Monique in the building, ready to come in here, jump in this conversation with the crew. Sorry, how you I'm feeling? Sorry. I'm so sorry. It, 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 it's, it's, it's all good. Us fellas is used to black women you being. You was driving. Late. You was you was speeding. I was, in. I was in room, girl. You was, you was zipping and, and, and you know doing a dip on the on the highway. Yes, baby. And trying to avoid the popo while I was at it. So all right, you good, boo. Oh so lord. I know who I could use as my getaway driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, Monique, it off, overall, it? how was you feeling about the fact that they took out your boy? And before I let you go, let me give you a clip to um, Chris oh. and you getting here with your boy at Scrap. Here we go. Got room to breathe in here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Monique, Mo, how you gonna look, look? How you gonna set this man? I don't. I mean, like, if you're gonna kill him, kill him. Don't get. Don't let the man get a woody. Think he about to get in the panty drawers, and then you chop his penis off. And like, you don't kill a man smiling. Like, look how he's smiling. She got that gun right to his damn head. Ain't no happy endings going on here. He was Monique. so happy. That's what made it worse. Is that mm, the way they mm, mm, did mm. the shit? Like. Oh, he was so happy. I, I mean, I hated to see it. Like, I really hated to see this. I thought this was a stupid idea. Um, how are y'all going to kill him if you don't even get confirmation? Then on top of that, let's say he was the snitch. When you have a snitch, don't you get try to get information out of them? What did they tell the feds? What did you not tell them? What You know, what's the feds? No. The fact that they didn't do that, they just shot him. So now you a deer in headlights. So you know what I mean? Let, let's say he did snitch. There are deer in headlights now. They have no idea. So it just it was all stupid to me. It was all stupid. It broke my heart to see Marvin cry. And you know Marvin is kind of that toxic masculinity where he thinks men don't cry. To see him cry, that 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 said a lot. Um I was mm. I was really sad. I hate when characters like that go. Um it reminded me of Rola, the original power. Season one, it reminded me of that. Mm, 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 mm. Jay, I, I'm gonna take you in a different direction. Jay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you somewhere else because we need to talk about this cat too. Um, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, go kick it with Jay Mo at ten o'clock. He's gonna be doing his thing on his channel as soon as we're done here. Right now, we've got three hundred and seventy-five people. Let us get three seventy-five likes, and just as important. Let us get 375 people. Continue things going on J-Mo channel. Link is in the description. Get ready to check them out. I'm going to hit J-Mo with this because this was a big scene too. So we've got everything going on in this show. And to me, Jay, the show felt like the show was so good that when it was, it was done, I was like, it's been an hour already. Damn. I felt like I just started watching. It was that good this episode. And they introduced us to Katia Faree. <laughs> my man, my man done went from selling cane at Queen Sugar to now he's over here doing imports and exports. Well, Jay, he claims that Ziza is under his group and that she is the cream of the crop in his music industry, his side business. And I'm thinking to myself, is that the cream of your crop? You ain't got no damn crops, buddy, because she ain't all that. But anyway, I digress. He comes in here. He knows Lulu from back in the day. He wants to make a deal with Lulu. The crown Camacho ain't trying to have his crown knocked off, but they make the deal anyway. Jay Mo, my question to you is, my brother, what kind of imports and exports is this brother into 
And how much trouble do you see him causing Rock and her organization and this music industry down the road. Yeah, I mean, you definitely know this dude is not uh, all the way clean. His money has has been cleaned, but uh, you know, he he definitely is sticky. And uh, the imports uh, come directly from Colombia, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't paying taxes on that freight. You know, and and so uh, yeah, and then he talking about this. Uh, he trying to talk all fancy. We got a couple artists that we doing some select deals with. Hey, man, get out of here, man! Y'all ass. If, if you was trying to work with her, she would have been in the damn car singing. She would have been in the studio with you instead of Lulu. You know, but he see the little fish swimming up because to him. Lulu is a little fish, uh, mm -hmm. and Rock probably a little fish to him too, and mm -hmm. so uh, he he see them moving and and on the way up. So he like, look, instead of making war, we can make peace, and this could be a way for me to you know make a partnership, friendship with Lulu before we may go bad and have to go get things dirty because it may eventually go that way. But it seemed like he trying to make things work right now uh on the positive note uh and everything is above board he even when camacho crying and we need to call him crying camacho crying camacho <laughs> over there crying camacho sitting there doing what he do crying talking about the deal all you had to do is speak up like a man and say what you want out the deal and then we'll see what can be done and when he said uh if she blow up off this single that mean we don't got her. He said, well, look, what we'll do is this. She hit certain little thresholds. We'll sign to the label. So you do a good job on this single and this sale and it move. We make money and I'm going to sign her to your label and you can do more work. So mm -hmm. I think he about that business. He trying to, trying to do the right thing uh, as far as this music side. Now, whether they may branch off into other stuff or other issues, who's to say? But, uh, yeah, he definitely, like Lulu said, he at the top of the food chain. So, you know, whatever Lulu and mm. Rock is moving, that's that's nothing to him. Like he was right. by them, you know what I mean? He right, right. Everything. So. Moochie. Get on yeah. in here, Moochie. Now, All right, you do y'all want to know my first analogy of this guy? Of this <laughs> oh, character? Go, 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 ahead. go ahead. It's a cross between Suge Knight <laughs> right. and Big Red from the Five Heartbeats. Shout out damn. to Suburbia Jones. I, listen, Office this hour. guy, this guy right here, he going to be trouble. Mm. Definitely. 100%. He going to be trouble. I'm telling you. 100%. He's gonna be trouble and he's gonna get Crown Camacho under his thumb. Not only that, Moochie, but I made another prediction in this same damn video. Who did I say he mm. would wind up supplying because the streets done dried up for him? Mm. Unique. 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 Wait, run that back? What's, what's the theory? I made a, in that trailer I did last a week, I, I said that this guy was gonna wind up working with Unique and become his supplier. Drug supplier. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't sleep with them trailer reviews. Now I be I be scripting some good shit. Well, and you, I don't even smoke weed. And I just I be in there. A, I be watching them. You, you be right. You be right. Um, some of the time. You be right. A lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'll let you get me back because I, I said black women right stay morning. late all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Morning, Need to jump I'm on in there. Either. <laughs> Jump on in there, Nita. How you feeling about Katia Fareed? And what is his real death? We know good and damn well ain't nobody black naming their children Katia. The <laughs> <laughs> he gonna name himself man. after some Cartier glasses. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know how black so, people. <laughs> so so he so he he want to be he want to be Versace and then he want to go all nation of domination for Reed. <laughs> nation of domination. <laughs> <laughs> WCW <laughs> for Reed and Farouk. He feels um he feels flashy to me. If he feels uh, you know 
some people that are flashy like that, that dispels trouble because mm. it, it's just the way they move. You can you can tell the the way they move. Like he just seems like he's larger than life. And and if he is in the import export, and he might be getting with Unique or with him, I thought Unique was gonna get with the the Italian, not the Italians, the mob, the, 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 the guy in jail. He might. He might. He might. That's what I feel. Good. Yeah. He could. Yeah, uh -oh. but um, yeah, he just still, he just looks like trouble to me. You know, I don't like fast talking. Um, <laughs> you know, those people just give me red flags. So I just mm -hmm. like so. So yeah. so, Nita, what you what you do when you go to a used car lot? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I don't like them. She buy she buy everything <laughs> new. A sleazy no, car no. salesman. She no, what Nita do is brand new. What Nita she do is she she or showroom full. She ordered her car off Amazon. They delivered that shit to her door. That's what Nita do. Right. <laughs> Monique Nicole, jump on in here now. What you got? What you got yeah. to say about Katia Faree? Katia. I mean, yeah, I agree with everybody's uh, sentiments. I think he's giving sleazy car salesman vibes. It's giving sketchy. Yeah. It's giving nation <laughs> marks, caution signs. Danger, danger, run, run! Like it's giving cold red. Cold, it's giving all of that. I'm getting, I'm getting all of those vibes. Just like Bernie Mac and Transformers. <laughs> Uncle Bobby B, baby. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I mean, yes, we, we all agree. We all agree, mammy. We all agree he's gonna he's gonna cause some issues, right? But. <laughs> He knows Lulu. They go back in the day. They used to have some kind of business together. They've been on some streets together. So Lulu is trusting him automatically. But what uh, I, I want to see happen? I think he's trusting him. I think Lulu know him from the streets. I think he's giving him like he know he like like hustlers know hustlers. Yeah, yeah. He giving now has he done business with him before? I don't think so. When so he's, he's he made a, he's trusting him off the strength of the streets. Exactly. But really, because he made a comment, right? Didn't he make a comment like, had I known this was your uncle, I would have not brought your ass in? He said something like that. Yeah, he did say that's that. What, that's so, what Cardi F said. That's why I so said he's known him is, from the streets. My, what I want to know is, what is Rock going to say when she find out that he just done jumped in bed with him and didn't even run it by her? And you know, Rock keep her ear to the streets. She know who's dangerous, who's not. Rock ain't going to be feeling this now. What y'all think? You're right. She's not. But can y'all help me? What's the deal exactly? What did they agree upon? I'm a little confused. The single. The, they're gonna do a single. Okay. And if it, and if if it looks like her career is popping, there are certain incentives to create them doing a long term deal along the way. She hit certain incentives so that they both can stay in the mix. Gotcha. Mm hmm. Uh, and I mean, she already on the radio, so. Crown, Crown Camacho yeah, she, also seemed very apprehensive. Um, very apprehensive about no, she was playing her own. Um, oh, that her own tape. That was yeah, her own tape. That was her own okay. tape. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Not on the radio. Cool. cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, oh, another Monique thing. Nicole. Remember, he Go played ahead, this character in Rage. He played shouts out to um Inga seventy one. He played this same character in Ray Donovan. And they was fighting over he the did. artist, and mm -hmm. you know what happened with that one? They end up killing the artist because he, they, they didn't let him go. Mm -hmm. So yep. ooh, we don't know what's gonna happen with it. That's why I said <laughs> right. he's a cross between Suge Knight <laughs> and Big Red. Right. So I'm telling you, he's gonna he's gonna be bringing some drama to this shit. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. He's gonna be bringing some drama. Now, let me throw a little theory at y'all real quick, because we know he's trying to his side business is supposed to be the music business. Right. Mm. We know Jukebox can sing and we also know Jukebox's mother can sing. I can easily see some kind of twisting of the arms between Jukebox and her mother, possibly getting in bed with Catier. So that he can do something to F over Lulu and Rock, and then we're going to have a bloody street battle. So just throwing him in the mix. He's got his import business 
plus his music business. And we sitting up here with a lot of folks that's got some musical talents. And hell, Jukebox is better than Aliza. Sorry, she just is. For sure. Just 100% is. Yeah. So there could be some legitimate fireworks going on on this thing, and uh, I can't wait to see it. And so, Monique, I'm going to come your way, and I'm going to let you have the video with your little boyfriend, one of your TV boyfriends, because we got to talk about him, too. He gave a speech that could have been TV Emmy worthy last night. Let's take a look at this. Ain't nothing left for you on the south side, man. It's time to go. <sighs> this side when I want to go all out. Ain't nobody forcing me off these blocks. Not the police. Not rock. Damn sure not you, nigga. I'm here. Well, I ain't going nowhere with you. Money, why oh. Warrell sound like a punk? Because well, he is a punk. He couldn't even ain't going look no in he couldn't do nothing over there looking like a straight. I was so I, don't say it. I was so shocked by Warrell because I expected a little more loyalty. Like because he's desperate and he needs money, I knew he would get with Rock. But the way he delivered the message threw me for a loop. I thought he'd be a little bit more sensitive to unique, you know. But the fact that he just came in there all book like. Well, I'm going with Rock, and uh, da, da, da. It just I wasn't ex I was not expecting that. Um, Warrell, I think he gonna be <clears throat> unique. Is not gonna forget that, and he gonna come and get his ass back. But shout out to Joey Badass, y'all. Not only is he a dope ass rapper, um, he is one intellectual brother. He did an interview um, with the Breakfast Club, I think, last week, and I I watched it. It was an amazing interview. So y'all should go mm. check it out. If you had if all like intellectual conversations, he's a he's deep. He's deep mm. in real life. <laughs> mm. Sound, sounds like somebody want them to go deep in her, but I digress. Moochie, you had your hand up. What what you talking about, Moochie? You... I have my hands up for the simple fact is you gotta look at how unique treated his employees. Yeah, hundred percent. He was like shitting on on Warbell mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. season. Yeah, when he like mm -hmm. talking to them like he nothing. Nothing. So what makes you think he gonna stay mm -hmm. around now that the chips is down? He like, man, I'm out of here. I got, I got my own operation now. That was his right hand man. I feel he like he got his own operation. If I'm it's giving a, you a, a building. There's a way to do stuff. He, I'll give There's you a building. He don't even have a corner to offer. He don't got no product. <laughs> right, let, 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 right. I'm, I'm giving you the real. That's the real. It's that's, business. It's I, business. It's business. You. He could have done it in a tactful manner. There's still a code of ethics. I it's, feel like there's a way it's a to street, handle baby. shit. This ain't Wall I know Street or street, corporate. But you, you, to me, you're still putting yourself at risk when you walk up to a man look, like he, that. Look, and he took it. He hold took on, the on, risk. Let me finish my thought. <laughs> See, go ahead. Finish. Um, I'm going to put myself on me. Saying something about walking up to a man like that or something. When you walk up to a man like that, right? <laughs> who, what he's been, let's look at it from a unique point of view, y'all. Okay. He is not to blame for all this shit going south. He was trying to be peaceful with Rock last season, made a truce. Kanan and Rock's people effed it up. She sets this man up to go to jail. He goes to jail for three months, comes out. It's like, think about it like from that point of view. So I feel like to walk up to him, knowing the state of what's going on and to be so buck with it, I just feel like there's a way to go about it. There was no need for him to be so vicious like that with Unique. Because Unique to me ain't do nothing bad to him. Yeah, okay, he cussed him out a couple times when he was upset. All right. Ooh, big big whoop. He still was his right-hand man, and Warrell still had certain privileges over other people. That was his right-hand man. So I just feel like it's the, my whole thing is there's a way to do it. I'm not, okay, I'm not Would mad. You rather I, be I, the right I got my rebuttal. I got my rebuttal. I'm about to be done. Would I'm about you to be rather done. be the right I'm hand or mad. the man? I'm not mad at what he said. I'm I'm mad with how he said it. That's basically case mm. in point. I'm not mm. mad at what he did. I'm not mad at what he did. I don't blame him. But it's the way he did it that I didn't like. Mm. Well, he Six didn't say it. He didn't say it with his chest out. He actually said it almost like he wanted to cry and shit. So That's how would you want to say it? Yeah, he said it like he had no other choice. That's why right. I understand right. why you 
He, he said it like he yeah, had no other I was down. expecting a fight. Exactly. That's what I was expecting. Exactly. That's what I was exactly, expecting. Jay. You hit the nail yeah, on the head. Because was, yeah, the way yeah, he like, treated yeah. him as an employee, he treated him like he was a peon, and that's your right hand man. How you yeah. talking to him crazy in front of all your people? Yeah. And he come into Warrell. That just showed Warrell the one to help build and hold everything together. Exactly. And he gave yeah. him the warning, like the streets is talking and saying you did it, and he still cursed them out. He gave mm. him a warning when they told him that they was coming for him. Mm. Mm. I mean, he Jay. Out. He was just upset. I mean, he, he was cussing. He was saying Raquel. I mean, I hear y'all. I hear what y'all saying. I know. He, he was, was saying still, rock stink all over Stink all over this, right. His favorite, <laughs> his favorite line. I hear y'all. That's Don't my favorite me. line. I get what y'all saying, but I'm still sticking to how, you as a viewer, when I watch your boo. the way I took it, you Warrell was more buck than I. I'm sorry. Warrell seemed like he didn't give two shits about Unique. That's I how I felt. That's how I, it came across to me. I won't he, say that because if he didn't give two shits, he could have really shit it on him. He didn't have to show especially up. how he was talking to him. He he said it to him like, "Look, man, there's no other choice. You don't got no product. Just I got a whole building now. He didn't even tell him that yet. So I feel like he going he gonna come back. He might reach back for um. Unique, and they do some kind of hostile takeover with it. Like, hundred percent. You understand what I'm saying? Let him get here. You, 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 yeah. And once he got that building locked down, he's mm -hmm. gonna reach back for him and he's gonna say, We're gonna take this all over. But then it might be a power struggle between them two. Because mm -hmm. it could be he's a, he's gonna be the number one now. You understand what I'm hey, saying? Y'all let me let Jay get in. Let me let Jay I jump into the get, conversation. You know, I guess I'm the only Jay. one that's oh. Warrell Jay, what you got? Because you love that, that that's because that's your nah. I <laughs> what, what, what you got for us, Jay? Get you, get you I mean, right here, I was surprised it wasn't a fight. Um, mm -hmm. I would have thought that, uh, you know, maybe uh, what Unique would have stole on him when he said uh, no, mm -hmm. and Warrell would have had to beat him up. Because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I can see Unique being frustrated that he don't have nothing. He lost his business, everything, his little store. Which I'm surprised. Why wasn't Warrell running the store while he was locked up? I mean, unless all he had to sell was shirts for real, then I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he probably like forget all that. I ain't selling button ups, but uh, you know, um, it would have been a little better to me of a scene if Warrell came in there with like two or three other dudes. Then we know why Unique ain't fight him because. Now nah, you ain't gonna beat all four people. We know he can fight because we saw him in jail. So you can't say, well, maybe he can't beat Warrell because I mean he can't handle himself. So I mean, I was surprised at least one of them didn't throw no blows at the minimum, let alone somebody get shot up in there. Me too. Um, right. Right. So right. you okay. know, but Warrell right. only Warrell only came at Unique like that because Unique is down bad. Warrell right. would not have had the freaking balls. To, that's what I'm saying. Everybody is sleeping on Unique. We all agree that he's about to get that help, in old dude in um prison. Watch when he gets back. When he gets back on top, it's about to be some. It's about to be some stuff. It's about to be some shit. We See, if I was Rock, what I would have did to make sure Warrell proved his loyalty is when he went to that meeting, I would have told him, "You need to kill Unique." Ooh. Yep. Definitely. 100%. Now I know he's loyal because now you killed yeah. Unique. Ain't no going back. You killed him. Now nope. you gotta be with me. Yeah. But but and my last subject. Don't be surprised the last, if that happens. Yeah, the last subject we covering he, is he, one of my other happen, theories. Jay. Yep. But I, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be unique. But the last thing we're gonna cover after I let Nita talk about this has something to do with something that could hurt Unique and Warrell might be asked to do it. So Nita. Talk to me about this exchange with Unique and Warrell. And I'm going to say this to Monique's point. Now, if what Jay said would have happened, Monique, that if Warrell would have showed up with two, three hitters with him, to me, that would have been disrespectful. At the very least, 
he came and told his man, look, mm -hmm. I'm starving on these streets. I'm mm -hmm. coming to let you know I don't have no other choice. I got to go over here. You my man and all, but you you can't put food on my table. If me being your man mean I'm going to die, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. And it would have been very disrespectful to me if he would have showed up trying to intimidate his mm -hmm. homeboy versus just showing up looking like a puss because he did look like a <laughs> puss did. the whole time. Yeah. But he but he stepped to him. He overcame his fear. He stepped to him and he did it. Floor is yours, Nita. <laughs> Yeah, I you know, um I, I see what Monique is saying, but I really feel like he the way he presented himself in this conversation, it it gives me it gives me I'm still loyal to you, but I'm just gonna go over here for a minute. Like yeah. I, I feel like yeah. mm -hmm. it was like I don't I didn't mm -hmm. see the disrespect. I saw mm -hmm. that you know he was like my back up against the wall, that's just what I gotta do, and like what everybody was saying, like, you know, when they Fear. He get his Fear. hold in there and do what he doing, he becomes a mole one. Mm -hmm. they, he's going to know the operation. He, I mean, he's going to have so much information on the operation you. that it's just, I, I just think he, he still left the door open. I don't think it was. Thank you. I feel like he going to reach back. Like, like I, I'm telling you, he could probably going to reach back and just how, to, that's how they took over the blocks. He's from uptown. He came to Queens, took mm. over the blocks. Okay. And then, right, they, right. then she had to negotiate everything with them. Because <clears throat> remember, she had all of the blocks locked down. Right. He's going to, she's going to, he's going to turn around and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to get a, a secure hole on 40 projects. Because mm -hmm. Baisley, what matter of fact, if we, if we looking at really Queens, 40 is bigger than Baisley. Baisley oh. projects is maybe one, maybe two buildings. Mm -hmm. 40 got a whole slew of buildings. Oh. So he getting a bigger, bigger thing. He getting mm -hmm. a bigger piece of the pie. Uh, that's why I hear y'all. I, I'm, I'm Nita, speaking Nita, as a queen. Bro. I'm just saying right. that. Right. Nita, you made a great point. My only thing is, when he said to him, basically, step off, you should leave, I, that didn't sit right with me. You telling your, your man to leave is, like, weird. Like, that's not, that doesn't tell me, that doesn't show me somebody who's like, yo, just stay low. I got you. I'm a, that isn't. He told no, he me, can't. he said, he was like, you're, you're done out here. You're dry. You're done. Leave. Nigga, what? Like, you, he's not, he's not about to come back and try to. Monique. Great point. You gotta make it look that good. That part kind of. Well, that up. part, that part to me shows that he's really being a good friend. And sometimes you need exactly. a good friend to tell you, to tell you the yeah. truth. Versus to trying to tell you what you want to hear, because if that was the case, if Tiger Woods would have had some people in this corner <laughs> that wasn't yes men, his ass might would still be mad right now. He's Warrell, Warrell was simply trying to tell him, "Look, bro, you, you, th these streets is hot because of you. Mm -hmm. Nobody's giving you no work. You need to go away for a little while. Let it, let these streets cool down." I can get with the, Lamont. What you just said, I can get with that. If you're if you're coming from the angle of it's a tough love, just he's being hard, he's just being real with him. Mm -hmm. I can I can get with that. I can get with. That. I, I, I believe it because Warrell was scared. To, Warrell did a good. The, the actor playing Warrell did a good <laughs> damn job of squeaking out words and showing fear. Literally, because oh, yeah, he couldn't even. He look didn't him do in it eye. disrespectful. He did it out of fear. You right. saying, Monique, you saying he was disrespectful, but he was just like, it's nothing else here for you in Queens. Mm. And, 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 and it's not like he was like, yo, bounce. Yo, this is like, nah, I got this locked down, no. bounce. He, he not even saying it like that. He's saying it like, look, right now you hot. Nobody wants to mess with you right now. So mm -hmm. why don't you fall back? I got to do this right now. Okay. And I might and, bring and, you look, in later. I, and I still think he... I, even if he does do what I say he's gonna do, mm -hmm. Unique still gonna kill him. Yep. Word. Unique, Unique gonna Unique kill him. But still oh, gonna kill him. him. He gonna Word. kill him for sure. Word. By the Even way, if he bring we, him in like and he they decide to take right over the now. block, Unique mm -hmm. still gonna kill him. Yep. Somebody said Kelly Lee. She said, "Yes, Queens, you drop. I'm dropping that <laughs> that knowledge for Queens. Exactly, because forty is bigger than Basie." So she gave him the bigger piece of the pie. And that's why I was like, how is she going to do this? She's making a big mistake, yo. He 
Daryl said, well, I was right like, now, Daryl take it over just pie. like he took over the block. But it oh, might not be a bigger piece get... of the pie just because the project's bigger don't mean it's more fiends over there or work. So. Someone said, ain't, nah, ain't I ain't beg no to reason. differ because you got South Road, you got um, you got something, you got uh, you got Guy R. Brewer, you got all of that. They just got Guy Brewer, they got Foch. Um, yeah, but I'm talking about the customers. The yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling customers. you, that when it with forty is, that's where that's where it's mm. gonna be popping. Trust and believe. That's how it was back said, in the day. We, I'm, I'm just saying if they're going by that. I could be wrong. Ain't I'm no reaching back. Me. Ain't no reaching back. That's the ultimate betrayal to work with the competition. And it, it, it is. It's, it's the ultimate... It's the ultimate betrayal in Unique's eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the ultimate betrayal. So I agree that he, no matter what, even if Warrell does help him, Unique is still going to off him because... Yeah, he's going to die. He's gonna it's, die. The, it's the ultimate betrayal, but... Unique is gonna get if he gets in there and reach back for um let's say if he gets in there and reach back mm -hmm. and I know people saying that the girl saw the stash house we saw Lamont's trailer video I do believe that Unique's gonna gonna rob the stash house oh. and yeah. if he reaches back after once Unique got some money then yeah he is gonna offer he's gonna offer me he's gonna mm -hmm. offer quick but I think he gonna I think I think he did this for a reason now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to hit y'all with, with the last subject so we can make sure Jay stay on time. So Jay's show is going to start at 10 o'clock, so you guys be mindful of your answers. This is going to be the last thing we're going to cover today. Um, it covers the thumbnail theory that I put up for this particular live stream we're doing. We will start with Monique Nicole, go to Nita, Go to Mooch and we'll end with Jay so he can get you guys to come over to his channel. But Moochie just gave you guys the perfect segue. In the bodega, Rock comes out and she's giving Neat Baby Mama this look. And Neat Baby Mama is looking at her like, mm, what you about to do to me? And I mean, both of these chocolate sisters is looking like some, some warm, ready Cinnabon. Just put some sprinkles on them and eat them up right out the microwave. But she put the fear. When Rock looked at her like that, she put some damn fear in the baby mama. So much fear that baby mama runs home and tells, Neat, I saw Rock. I'm scared for me, you, and Jerome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that at some point in time, Rock is coming for Jerome. And who's she going to make do it? Warrell to show his damn loyalty. When the word get out that he been sniffing around unique is how I see that going down to mm. show his damn Lord today coming after little baby Jerome. But having <laughs> said that, Monique Nicole, I give the floor to you. And the second point I want to make before I give it to you is, Rock, you know good and damn well this is unique baby mama. You know she going to say something. The whole reason that your bodega about to get robbed is because you ain't handling no business right there since you rocking you about it. Floor is yours, Monique. <laughs> So just my thoughts on the the bodega situation or I'm trying to Yeah, both the bodega the bodega and the tie between her going home <laughs> telling me I'm scared as hell to rock. Yeah. I mean the preview for next week's episode gave it away, you know, the stash gets gets robbed and we all know it's unique. So now my only thing is I wonder if Rock's gonna do something to the to the girlfriend. As retaliation, I don't know. Um, but nah, I mean, why do something to the girlfriend? What's going to hurt them both even worse is the son, <laughs> and what a even and what a mate, what a dig that knife in even deeper. The baby is if is he if, is if you need look up, you need look up and see that the person that's apprehending the baby is his ex man Warrell. Boy, you want to talk Ooh. about twisting the fucking knife. Damn, some Caden Phil yeah, type stuff. I don't know if they're gonna do all that, but I, I don't know if they're gonna hurt the baby. But the the girlfriend might be in a crossfire for sure. Okay. okay, all right. Nita the diva, what you got? Okay, I mean, I feel like this was this was a scene for something. So this is important. I think um, I would I would hate if. Uh, she makes that order because I feel like they've already 
you know, messed up her. You know, I mean, they're making the people hate her. So mm -hmm. um, I, I would hate that she would put another notch on her on her belt with that whole with the baby because the ba but the baby looked like he was kind of he was listening to the whole conversation. He was like, he yeah. sure was. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He was yeah. all in it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I do think um, something's going to happen because uh, she definitely knew that that was Neek's baby mother. And then mm -hmm. uh, something is going It's something's brewing. That's what mm. Moochie, you look like you done wrote a whole damn script about just the family or you no. and his family. If, if, if they shot them, did a if Marvin did a shootout with him coming out of the movie theaters with this little boy, thank what you. makes you thank think you. he ain't gonna come at him a second time? Thank you. Well, y'all y'all said Raquel. Now Marvin, I, I, I didn't say she Raquel. She don't got look. Raquel uh, she, got no she problem worse with Marvin. Marvin kids. Yeah. She worse than yeah. Marvin. She worse than Marvin. She she way worse. She done took out D Wiz and that was a teenager. True. Oh, oh shout out sat to D Wiz. She the mother and cried. Golly. Yeah. Poor little look out right. D Wiz. What, 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 what yep. makes you think, think she not mm -hmm. going to put out a hit on this kid, on, on his whole family? Yeah, mm -hmm. Cheese Wiz was. Was it gone? Pour, pour, pour out a little bit for my boy D Wiz. <laughs> yeah, G when, Wiz. when they had cheese Wiz. <laughs> Look, G Wiz J, J, J Mo was here when I had I had captured the screen share the screen oh, picture of when D Wiz had bust that nut with the girl that put it on him in a club. I remember and he made that. that he made that crazy face. Mm -hmm. That crazy. I remember that. Face. I remember that we was laughing about that for a couple of minutes. That was that yes. was hilarious. I had to ask you to put the picture back up. <laughs> rock, yeah. rock like to have you taken out when you on the top when you on the high. You know what I'm but saying? Isn't it crazy how they killed? Him? So D was died season one episode two and Scrappy. You know, like a bit another death like season mm -hmm. two episode two. Yeah. Okay, damn, is episode two gonna be the damn murder episode? <laughs> hey, it is yeah. what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor and last word goes to Jay Moore. Be sure to go over to his channel. He's going to start his show in about four minutes, but he gets the last word right here with us. What you got, Jay? Um, yeah, man, I was just uh, about with this uh, girlfriend. Um, I think that when she was talking to him about seeing Rock in the bodega, she didn't realize how important and valuable that piece of information was. And uh, he going to slowly put it together and see. And uh, I definitely think he going to hit the bodega up and, uh, and and rob it. But the problem with that is going to be Rock. I like this picture right here with that old ass Pepsi machine and them little rolls of toilet tissue for a dollar. When you run out of tissue, you got <laughs> to get a dollar roll of that one fly. You know what I'm saying? Need a whole right. roll to wipe it. But, uh, <laughs> and look at them pampers. I'm still having to deal with that Man. right now myself. Look at them pampers. <laughs> I remember them days. Them expensive too, boy. Add up. Yeah, Every boy. Jars of food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, you know, Rock looked her dead in her face so when that money come up missing rock is gonna put it together that old girl was in there and saw her coming out which mm -hmm. is gonna put her life in danger that kid and unique because rock don't play with that money and so mm -hmm. you know yeah I she know. she should have tried to look away and act like she didn't recognize rock or something but right. that yeah, yeah, yeah. She should have ducked. She should have ducked. Is what right. she's done. Shoe or something. I Look, Jay, feel like Rock messed up by not even addressing her. She should. Yeah, she did. Like, like she should have been did. like, "What the? What are you doing in here? Like, you exactly. shouldn't even be in that mm -hmm. store." Right. Exactly. Rock yeah. let her get away with that one because the only one who get to eat some of Rock cheese is the rats that's eating her money. Then the only ones that get money for free. And I like the fact that Juliana gave Rock, they put the bug in Rock's ear. You really need to be getting your ass a house because that's what I'd be doing with my money. And right. Rock was about to go get a house. But you know what? Before Rock can get her money up out of there, mm -hmm. they done robbed her. And done listen robbed. to the areas where they trying to put her already. They trying to put her in Hollis. Jerry y'all don't know this because y'all not, not from Queens. They trying right. to put her in Hollis. They was trying to put her in St. Albans. They was trying to put her in all the black areas. They said 
she than, picked, uh, she picked Bayside, she picked Dix Hill, and she picked, I believe, Queens Village. All of those that, areas are where blacks buy houses in New York. Hollis is a, a black area. It's, that's yeah. south. That's basically Jamaica. Not not that's not Jamaica, but it's 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 a it's a black area. That's the area that that, that black from. lady was trying to put her. And, and remember, Jay, you did like a little expose on the red line and thing on your um. Remember, we watched the thing on your Discord. Mm -hmm. you, they talked about the. I think they were they wanted to expose that fact. Like how they mm, want to, right? You know, how they try to segregate the black people in certain, in yeah. certain areas. Mm. Dang. They even, they even try to give Long Island. Sure, these Long Island. They mentioned Great Neck, Long Island, um, Douglaston. <laughs> That's all like in in the mix in the white areas. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the yeah. homie Nancy yeah. Nye. Damn. Shout out to my homie. And, well, they, um, ladies Great and Neck is kind of Long Island, but they mentioned all the Queens areas. They mentioned. Those white the, the, the areas where she was saying she wanted to go Forest Hills, Dix Hills, I mean not Dix Hills, Forest Hills, Douglaston, Bayside. She mentioned those mm. areas. Now I would love, and we're gonna get out of here on this, y'all. I would love for the house that um, Rock is gonna buy to be right beside the house where Nicole's mama and daddy live at. <laughs> that would be a twist of damn fate and ladies and gentlemen having said that we out of here but if you want to keep talking check this out jmo is about to get right on the air as soon as i get off go check my man channel out i will be back in here tomorrow with moochie miss k brandon keith avery and if brandon keith avery can't show up i'll have monique nicole if she's willing to be in the bullpen if not then it'll just be us three but hopefully, you know, they'll show up and we'll make this thing happen. So y'all can get my brother's opinion because we ain't heard it in a hot minute. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, download the podcast. We out of here. Go rocks with my man J-Mo right now.